So South Africa's newest mathematics kid, uh, Wiz, did not do particularly well, actually, in the subject during his early school years. Emmanuel Rousseau was crowned the overall winner of the SA Maths Olympiad over the weekend. He won gold for the senior division of pupils in grades 10 to 12. The Maths Wiz joins us now via our video link in Cape Town. Emmanuel, it's great to see you this morning. And a huge congratulations from someone who did not excel at maths at school. What does it take to come from a background where you weren't doing very well to be where you are now? Good morning to all the Newsroom Africa viewers. It's a pleasure to be on the program. Yeah, so to uh, answer your first question, um, like as a, at a very young age, uh, I did struggle a bit, mm. um, but you just have to still have the confidence uh, in yourself and if you are struggling, to just ask the teacher questions mm. about the the section that you are struggling on. Yeah. Uh, and just also, yeah, just persevere, um, have that uh, that positive uh, mindset and motivate yourself uh, in this uh, particularly hard subject. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're saying, you know, in your experience, it's not necessarily that you're gifted with a mathematics brain, but you can actually work at becoming good at mathematics. Yeah, um, I mean, I wouldn't say it's just hard work. It's a bit of both, but um, you definitely need to put in the work uh, mm. in order to get the award at the end. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it takes a lot of commitment, but um, just by, uh, like, especially for Mass Olympic, just by developing your problem solving skills, which is not um, often, which is not often trained or practiced at school level. Yeah, yeah. So this is a nationwide competition that saw you take the top prize. A hundred thousand pupils taking part in three separate rounds before a grueling four-hour paper. Just incredible. Uh, tell us about your experience of going through the various stages of this competition. Yeah, so with so many um, participants in this Olympia, they had to have quite a, uh, quite a strict cut down through each round. So round one, uh, it wasn't too hard. It was multiple choice and you only needed 50%. There were, 10, there were 20 questions, so you only needed 10 out of 20 mm. uh, to go to the next round. And round two was a bit harder uh, with single answer questions. And um, the, only the top 100 in the country weren't right to, uh, to write the last round. Mm. And the last round, that was the hardest of them all. Um, it was four hours and only six questions. So during those four hours, each question, you had quite a lot of time to think about the question and try different uh, approaches, mm. uh, different approaches. And because most of the question, most of the problems there is divided into four categories, four main cat categories, geometry, combinatorics, which is, for example, finding the number of ways of doing something, number theory, which is dealing with integers and algebra. Mm. And those are divided, uh, into those, those sub uh, Subtopics are divided into those six questions, and you have quite yeah you have quite a lot of time. Uh, you can use different techniques and approaches to approach the questions. Uh, each question, each solution is a bit innovative in in some way. Mm. Uh, and then one like after every failed attempt, or you just uh, you learn something more about the question, and it leads you to the next approach, which uh, you do that until you get the full solution. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah these yeah. questions are pretty hard. No, listen, um, some of the words that you use there, uh, Ayanda, my co-anchor, will explain them to me. He's a lot better at maths than I am. Um, I want to ask you about your previous experience in mathematics competitions because this is not the first time you've won a maths competition. Yeah, um, I, there are some other uh, maths competitions. Uh, for example, the UCT maths competition and the Virgo maths com competition that I won. Mm. However, um, the competition... There and even in some of uh, some of those competitions ended up in three-way ties, which just shows that the gap between first, second, and third place is paper thin. Yeah. yeah. And I know Mass Olympians uh, are also as deserving as me to win the competition. Yeah. So uh, I was just, it's, it's hard work and um, skill in in maths, but it's also a bit of luck to win the competition. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's very gracious of you to say. Uh, the other issue, um, maths seemingly does run in the family. I understand you've got a younger brother who's also done quite well 
in the primary version of this maths competition? Yeah. Um, well, he, he doesn't always ask for help for me, yeah. for me, but <laughs> he does also. Um, he came second in the in the uh, primary school version of uh, South Africa Maths Olympiad, so I am also proud of him. So, so, so tell us, Emmanuel, um, the prize winnings, what are they, first of all, and, and what are you hoping to do? I understand you're involved with the 67 Kids to School initiative. Yeah, um, so the prize money, we get a fair amount of money. Um, I'm not sure exactly how, many, how much this year, yeah, yeah. but I plan to uh, donate most of it to uh, a charity that was started uh, at my school, and each year five uh, learners from grade 11 take over the project so it's called 67 kids to school mm. and um yeah so it's called 67 kids to school and the aim of this is each year we raise enough money through fundraising events uh, to send 67 grade one learners mm. to the disadvantaged school by supplying them with all the stationery and school uniform that they wow. need wow wow um, yeah that's that's really incredible and and will you be using part of the uh, the the, the uh, prize money to celebrate something Personally, buy yourself something maybe that you've been hoping to, to, to get for yourself? Uh, not particularly. Um, I, yeah, I'm a bit of a gamer, but I'm not going to use my money on that. Yeah. <laughs> Emmanuel, I understand also that you dedicated your win in the Maths Olympiad to your mom. Uh, yeah, so the medal, yeah, I dedicated to her. Uh, it was memory I want to honor. Wow. Uh, well, a huge congratulations from us here at the AM Report on an incredible win, beating out 100,000 other competitors in the uh, Old Mutual Maths Olympiad. Uh, gold medalist Emmanuel Rousseau joining us there via our video link. It's been great to chat to you this morning.